we were asked to participate in the Gray Sofa Project. We were given uh, the prerequisite. It was a gray sofa and to choose one or as many artists uh, here in the uh, Sawyer Yards Enclave as we saw fit to, uh, to complete our, our vignette. So we really started, first of all, with the gray sofa and then made our artist selections and decided on the paintings prior to moving forward with any of the other items. Once we heard about it and we went on a hunt for a gray sofa, uh, we found the one behind us that uh, it just spoke to us. We have amazing vendors that let us pick and pull from everything that they had and let us borrow for this shoot. We drew off the colors and the inspiration that the artist worked from and uh, found that from there found the sofa, found the rug, found the accessories. And we each have a different uh, style. Mine is coastal um, and the other ones are modern, contemporary, and traditional. This was my first experience working with some of the artists here at the Yards. Um, I, it's a fabulous collaboration between us. And I think that's part of this whole process is giving the artists and the designers an opportunity to get to know each other better, to see what we can do together. I didn't realize that there were so many artists in Sawyer Yards, and it exposed me to artists that I've not heard of or seen their work, so it's, it's a great, you know, venue for someone to come and just walk each building and see what talent we have in Houston. What I think is I'll be visiting the yards more with more frequency, yeah, checking, checking in with not only the artists I'm working with now, but with, with others that I've met along the way. As a designer, I have, Sawyer Yards is a fabulous resource with connecting our clients and getting beautiful things in their homes. And it's local, they can come and see it. It's not commissioned somewhere else, it's all here in town. And um, it's, just, it's just a great place to to see and, um, and to see how much talent is in Houston.